Tinu season one, episode eight. Let's watch this episode. Freak out from what happened at the school. Well, your mom isn't the sheriff. Okay, there's no comparison. Trust me. Can you at least just tell me what we're doing out here? Yes. When your best friend gets dumped. Is that a former? Is that really a former? How's he able to control his? You know. Break, you get your best friend drunk. <sighs> Dude, you know she's just one one girl. You know, out of so many, there's so many other girls in the sea. Fish in the sea. Fish? Why are you talking about fish? I'm talking about girls. I love girls. I love them. I love, especially ones with strawberry blonde hair. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> I need a drink. What happened? Look at the two little bitches getting a drink on. Give it back. What's that little man? I think he wants a drink. I want the bottle. Scott, maybe we should just go. You brought me here to get me drunk, Styles. I'm not drunk yet. <laughs> He's already pissed off about this, you know, breaking up thing. And someone just comes and messes up his day. Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle of Jack. Guy? <laughs> I think this was the alpha. It was, yeah, it was the alpha. <laughs> it would have been like confusing. Scott did this, you know. Stay home another day? No. Want a brand new car? <gasps> Me too. <laughs> you go to him. This isn't just about what happened at the school, right? I mean, it's about what's her name. Do you want to talk about it? Not with you. Hey, I've been through a few breakups myself, you know? I mean, disastrous ones, actually. I don't care about your breakups. Mom. Perfectly. Yes, I underestimated the danger. Yes, we should have acted sooner. Yes, I should have listened to you. Anything else? Or does that cover it? All I was gonna say is you need to stop and get some. Mr. McCall, please take a seat. You have 45 minutes to complete the test. 25% of your grade can be earned right now simply by writing your name on the cover of the blue book. However, as happens every year, one of you will inexplicably fail to put your name on the cover, and I'll be left yet again questioning my decision to ever become a teacher. Hmm. If that styles maybe it's styles it. Or a Grimbeck. I, I looked at her and it was like someone hit me in the ribs with a hammer. Yeah, it's called heartbreak. About two billion songs written about it. <sighs> True. And still counting. Well, you can think about this. Her dad's a werewolf hunter, and you're a werewolf, so it was bound to become an issue. That wasn't helpful. Yeah, that wasn't really helpful at all. Dude, I mean, yeah, you got dumped, and it's supposed to suck. Oh, that's not it. But it was like I could. Feel everything in the room, everyone else's emotions. It's gotta be the full moon. So we'll lock you up in your room later, just like we planned. That way, the alpha, who's your boss, can't get to you either. I think we need to do a lot more than lock me in my room. What do you mean? Because if you get out, you'd be caught by hunters? No. No, it was OP you. Because if I get out. If he is. You find him. You can. Oh, I was his mother. In half. Anybody want a cookie? Oh, you do got something on your... Let me... I think this is the reason why uh, Scott ended up, you know, doing 
something with the lady ever also he was seeing all this and he was getting angry what do you want a bite oh <laughs> no he got exactly what he deserves imagine seeing someone doing this in the hallway with their head that's not normal and they're telling me nobody saw that the recent pink eye epidemic thank you greenberg the following people have made first line on a probationary basis emphasis on the word probationary rodriguez welcome to first line taylor and uh oh for the love of crap yeah. i can't even read my own right what is what is that an s is that a, <laughs> look at this no, that's not an s that's a that's a that's a b that's a b it's definitely a b uh, Rodriguez, Taylor, and uh, Bolinsky. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> yes. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> yes, sir. Who's <laughs> that? It's Bios. Call me Bios. I swear to God, I'll kill you. Another thing. From here on out, immediately, <laughs> we're switching to co captains. Congratulations, McCall. Yeah, we're like, what? What? What do you mean, what? Jackson, this takes nothing away from you. This is about combining separate strengths into one unit. This is about taking your unit, McCall's unit, we're making one big unit. unit. McCall, it's you and Jackson now. Everybody else? <coughs> Ass is on the field. Ass is on the field. Dude, can you believe this? You're a captain of first line? Of first freaking line? <laughs> He doesn't even care. It's not gonna be much of a co-captain in traction. Yeah, because it's not like he scores more than anyone else. Oh, is that the opinion of my best friend? The opinion of your best friend is? Who the hell cares who's Steve Captain? He's a good player. Are you gonna seriously get a grip? Let it go. Yeah, I like Danny. He, he, he was smart, you know. I don't know why he became friends with me, Jackson, but... I think he's smart, he knows something, he's like, he's good, like, was, that's why he's the captain. Oh, I can practically smell the jealousy in there. Wait, you smell jealousy? Yeah, it's like the flu has turned everything up to ten. Huh. Can you pick up on stuff like, I don't know, that desire? Do you know if Allison still likes me? That's not the question, dude. Come on. You. As friends? Just friends. Just friends. I think Lydia was doing this on papers because of what the uh Jackson was doing. Ask me how I know that. I do know. Because I know you locked us in there to protect us. Because I know that when a guy risks his life for you, you should be grateful. That's right. That's kind of right. Are you grateful? I think you'd be pretty surprised. And just... How grateful. I can be. I know the full moon is also kind of we hoping in this kind of situation but them both of them were in the wrong for this doing you know all of them hey what happened what what do you mean what did you ask her did she say anything did she say she liked me did she imply she liked me yeah yeah she likes you in fact she's totally in you He's lying, come on, look at that face. This is just going to be rough on them, like, look at that. <laughs> Even the goalkeeper. <laughs> Oh, 
you shouldn't have done that to Jane though. I mean, we like Jenny, but it was kind of funny. You know. Dude, what the hell are you doing? Well, he's twice the size of me. Come on. Well, yeah, but everybody likes Danny. See, I got it. You. I don't care. Eric, what do you mean by everything? I mean everything. Scott? He's entering this house like he's on a house, you know, like. Yeah. I had one made, so. That doesn't surprise me. It scares me, but it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> what is that? Uh, school project. I'm just gonna lock the door and go to bed early tonight. You sure about that? Because you got this kind of serial killer. Yeah, yeah. And I'm hoping it's the full moon taking effect because it's really starting to freak me out. I'm fine. See, even the way you're talking, that, that's not usually you. So let's 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 look each other up. Well, look, would you just at least look in the bag and see what I bought? You know, maybe you use it, maybe. Yeah, this is a revenge for sure. You could have just just given him the bottle. I'm gonna kill you. You kissed her, Scott. Okay? You kissed Lydia. That's my. Like the one girl that I have. Okay, so that was today's episode, episode 8. Now, personally, I think this episode here is in the mid, you know, it could have been much better, but yeah, this is the, like the entire series, the first season was just like this. We don't really have a lot of good episodes there, there but there are not a lot of them. And this one, uh, with this story, it's involving around the last episode, which I did like the most, but this one, you know, it takes it a little bit, you know just like aftermath here of what happened in the last year episode and i think we did a really decent job but i feel like this episode since it's episode 8 should have been more like more of a setup because i don't know why but i feel like if seasons every season or a series if they have like at least a lot of a bigger setup you know and if especially if they really do well in the final like the final is nailing it it's, it's really amazing it's just this that feeling that it's amazing but right now this is episode 8 i mean Okay, maybe I'm, I like to sit up a little bit, but episode 8 so far, I felt, I felt like, you know, uh, obviously Scott was a little bit rude, or, and this has to something to do with the full moon that was going to happen the, during the night, and this is also one of the controversial uh, episodes, I won't say the controversial episode, but I'll say it, 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 this episode does contain one of the controversial uh, scenes with the Scott and Lydia. Now, you have to understand that both of them right now, are different characters from the future. First of all, Scott was in a bad situation. The full moon was affecting him, the breakup of the Alison, every situation in the, everything that was happening, he was at his low moment. Then with the full moon affecting his mind also that he had him just going crazy. On the other hand, he has Lydia whose character so far she was just a little bit awful like that girl, you know, the pretty girl in high school just doesn't doesn't care. And this time she actually you know, did this with the Scotty because of what uh, Alison and Jackson were doing. So this was more for like a, a, a revenge kind of thing, even though they wouldn't know about it because you know, she was a little bit mad about what Jackson and her friend Alison was doing. The you know the whole thing they were doing was just dead. And I understand why people wouldn't love, especially as on Jackson. You, you, you know we like Jackson, but we also don't like him. You know we like him as a villain, but. Uh, that's why we don't like him, you know. But as, as for Alison, people, you know, they, they kind of set him up to be a good person, but then again, she goes and does some stupid things. 
you just you just can't help but you don't like uh, Ludina. For me, I think she's a decent character. She's not a great character or great character. She's a decent character. But this is this episode or this entire relationship between he and um Jackson just makes me like wonder that, that maybe 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 people are not wrong about the character being a bad character. You know, it's just that's that's why people don't like her. She's out of course. You have to understand, Lydia, of course, you know, they have revenge thing, but she was right when she said that uh, I would be thankful if I have a boyfriend who would do anything, he would sacrifice himself, he would do anything to protect me. You know, that's what it's called did in the last episode. He, he locked them in that classroom to protect them, right? From himself, of course, that they don't know that. And from the alpha, he, he did that. But Alison is just going mad, like, oh, you left her, you left me in there, you left me alone in there. Because she wasn't alone, but. You know what I mean? She, what she means? So I think she, instead of being like that, she should be thankful, and you know, just say thank you. I, I understand why you do it. I might not like it, but I do understand you did it to protect me and the rest of the people. You know, just you did it for just you didn't want to see me get hurt, so you put yourself on the line. I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful that I kind of gave a boyfriend like you just that. But no, she did instead does do the opposite. She gets mad about it and thumbs up and you just wonder why and also break up with him although i mean i have to see the next episode to see how that story goes on because right now i have no idea what the next episode is going to be about or how they're going to resolve this issue it's just a lot of things there. and the next episode i have no idea i mean it's been a while since i watched this entire series or the first season so i'm really eager to see what that episode is going to be about but as for this one right now bad character bad character then on that end, we do have styles. That was right now. In this episode, I think it was the highlight of the episode. Was all the characters were acting like checkers in this episode. They were like all like being affected by Fumon, even though one of them was. They were all acting like checkers. So, uh, Styles was the only one who was kind of in a normal state. I mean, majority of them were in a normal state, but they were acting bad. He was the one who was, you know, sort of trying to get Scott in the right situation, sort of giving him, uh, somewhat of an idea like okay you know i'm going to be there for you i'm always going to be there for you you know speaking about scott then he good does go and uh, do something to heal that styles like he just no it's, it's okay it's fine it's, it's just a series it's not for him right it's just i feel bad for him you know right now he's being surrounded by bad people you know bad people in a bad situation he's being surrounded by those people and is still going strong like he's still doing everything he can to protect him like what he did what scott did to you know he just understand it was tells us my did but still he did not do anything bad and i mean he kind of put you know some water and he just he kind of treated him like a dog but it's understandable he was he's a little bit mad because since tells has been mad in love with the leader since like they were third grade i think that's what he said so it's been a long time. Then your best friend, your best friend, out of all the people, your best friend goes and do something like that. It just it makes you go crazy a little bit, you know, and you're angry. But he's the only one who was, who was the highlight of this episode. So anyway, like I said, this was not the best episode, but it's still watchable. So anyway, guys, if you like my reaction, make sure that you do like, subscribe, or see in the next episode. Bye-bye.